Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna start off with this um, Giovanni Facial Prime and Setting Mist, and it's just to prime my face. Gonna spray that on real quick. Next, I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. I'm gonna use my spoolie just to brush out the uh, hair and trim the areas where it's too long. I don't know why in this area it just cause it just gets too long and right here. And I'm just creating an arch so I can actually draw and fill them in. Next I'm going to um, shave my face which is called dermaplaning. I'm going to use this Rod Hot Rose Hip Oil just to make the transition much smoother for the blade to guide, glide through my face. And I'll just put some oil and massage that through my face. And it's a very gentle rose hip oil. Um, dermaplaning is when it removes the hair from your face or the peach fuzz or, um, it's also considered exfoliating, which helps remove the old dead skin from your face. It can also be called microplaning or blading. But I do love this technique because I feel like I get to, you know, basically when you put your foundation, it's going to be as closest to your skin it is without interruptions of the uh, peach fuzz or the old dry skin. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and spray, like drench my face with this Giovanni. What I'm gonna do is take off all that excess oil from my face before I start putting foundation and everything else with some little cotton swabs. Alrighty, next I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is a primer, you can use it as a primer. And after I did microblade my face, it's extremely gentle, so it kind of feels hot. But this feels extremely nice and cool, and it feels perfect. Alrighty, next I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation, which is, which is the Pacifica Alight Clean Foundation, number 23, which is neutral medium. And I'm gonna spread that foundation out with the e.l.f. sponges, which I've been loving those e.l.f. sponges. Okay, now I'm ready to put in my setting uh, powder, which is the Fit Me from Maybelline, number 25 in Median Moyen. Okay, now we can move on to the eyebrows using this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Pomade in Deep Brown, number 380. Um, I'm gonna use that with my little spoolie, and basically I'm just gonna do a quick rough draft of the uh, feeling of the eyebrows. Okay, now I can just set that with the uh, Benet Natural Powder and I'm gonna pat that on with an e.l.f. sponge all over the eyebrow to set that in. And I'm gonna use a little spoolie to brush out that excess powder that's in there so we can set them and then brush it with a bigger brush and they're done. Okay, now it's time to do the contouring. We're gonna use the Besame Deep Bronze Foundation. Gently use that in all the areas where I wanna contour.
Okay, next I'm going to use the Kat Von D concealer in um, L11 Neutral. And I'm just going to use my finger to spread that out before I put the eyeshadow. Okay, now we're going in with some eyeshadow. It's an old palette that I've been having for over two years, just sitting in the back of that box back there. I'm so embarrassed it has dust on it, oh my goodness. It's from Kat Von D and it's called Shade and Light Eyes. And her packaging is always so gorgeous to me. I love it. Okay, and here's an overall look how it looks. Gorgeous. The first color I'm going to go in with is going to be all over my eyelid. And this color I believe is called Salos. Salios. It's a very creamy, just a light color that I'm going to use as my transition. The next color I'm going to go in with is this color called Lucius. It's a gorgeous mauve pink color. I thought it was going to be like an orangey color, but it's it's a very beautiful mauve color, which is, I don't know, I look at it more like on the pink, and I'm here for it. I just love this color. And the next color I'm going to use is this black called Shax. I'm going to use that deep into my uh, crease. And I'm going to outline my crease first and then eventually blend the eyeshadow where it spreads out to the top. And just blend that together with the other colors. Okay, and here I'm going to put some under my lower lash line. I'm going to continue that black color. Okay, my beautiful Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. Now it's time to put you away. I almost want to just collect it and not use it again. I love it. Okay, here I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind uh, Concealer. I'm gonna use some of this. It's nice and creamy. I'm gonna use that under my eyes and wherever it conceal. And here we're gonna use some more of that midnight uh, powder to set that in. And here we're using the collab uh, blush called Chatty. It's a gorgeous color. I'm loving it so far. And here I'm using a new highlighter from Iman that I found at TJ Maxx. Iman is the wife of uh, David Bowie. I just wanted to try this out and the highlighter is called Gold Digger. Okay, here I'm using a very light contour stick from um, LA Colors called Carded. I'm going to use that in my inner corner, down the bridge of my nose. Anywhere I'm going to put highlighter, this is going to be the base so it could stick. And my favorite highlighter is from Jua. It's called Skinny Dip. I love the way it glows. I'm just going to fill that in exactly where I use the highlight stick. And here I'm going to be using the Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe. And of course I'm going to be using my favorite liquid eyeliner from Milani. The Stay Put Matte Liquid Eyeliner.
And here I'm just going to use the same liquid eyeliner to fill in my moles. I do apologize for blocking the um, view with the mirror. Sorry about that. Um, but I did use the same liquid eyeliner to fill in that mole. And the one right over my lip. Um, I do also have a mole by my eyes, you can see, but I don't like filling those in because I don't, I don't want to draw attention to the, that area. Alrighty, on here I'm going to use a uh, Dollar Tree lip liner. It's called LA Colors also, so I'm using the dark brown for that. And my lipstick is from Remblon Kiss. It's a plumping lip creme. Number 540 Velvet Mink is the name of it. And for my lashes, I'm using LA Colors Drama Lash in Dolly. My husband was such a sweetheart to go and get those for me. I was already in the middle of doing my makeup and realized I didn't have lashes and he offered to go get them for me and he was so sweet. Thank you, baby. I really appreciate everything you do for me. And here I'm just going to use the uh, black eyeliner to go over the seal on the eyelashes to make them real black. And for my mascara, I'm going to be using one of my favorites, which is from Tarte. It's called Big Ego. It's one of my favorite mascaras because it leaves my lashes so thick. Okay friends, here's my final look. I just love the way it came out. This eyeshadow is extremely creamy and easy to work with. Hardly any fallout and I really love the palette. Um, I hope you like this look. I really enjoyed doing this. I hope you get to subscribe if you'd like to and like my video. I'm going to put my hair down and give you a final look. Adjust my camera and here's my look.